Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to the Heroic You Series 2.0. And today what we're doing is a 30 minute upper body elevated workout. So what do I mean by that? Everything we're doing is going to be elevated. So I have my yoga block that I'm using for some of the activities. And then I am using an elevated surface. So like a chair, bench, couch. Now you can do all these activities also unelevated. You're going to be things like push-ups. They're just changing it a little bit with that dynamics, having a little more fun by mixing things up. And I will show you also how to modify. We're going to have a lot of fun. You don't need any weight today. It's going to be body weight. And believe me, that's going to be enough. <laughs> so make sure you grab your sweat tie, your drink, and of course your great attitude. Let's get this thing rocking. Okay, so hopefully you grabbed your elevated surface, your sweat tie, your drink, and your great attitude. If so, let's get warmed up. Let's start with just opening and closing that chest. Now, I'm going to throw my thumbs up and down and give some rotation in to those shoulders. Oh, man, doesn't this feel good? You're kind of like hugging yourself and saying, yes, I'm trying something new, and I'm excited about it. <laughs> We've got three more, two more, last one. We're going to hinge down. We're going to do nice big swings here. Kind of like the Michael Phelps getting ready to dive in that pool. We're squeezing those shoulder blades and just big, big motion here. Okay, the shoulder has a lot of mobility. We want to make sure we're grabbing all of it. We've got three more, two more. Last one, we're going to stay hinged and we're going to drive those right up here. Drive those shoulders up. We've got three, two. Last one, this time we're gonna throw those arms all the way up behind us, big swings, swinging down and swinging up. All the way up over that head. Ooh yeah, we've got three, two, last one. Let's take those arms, let's press down and up. So you're gonna press your hands down, you're gonna press them up, press them down, press them up. We've got three, two, Last one. This time you're going to take that press and you're going to press to the side and back. Right there and back. Okay, pressing through that palm, starting to activate the back of that shoulder. We've got three, two, last one. Same thing except diagonal and across. Okay, starting to get those laterals. Okay, we need that trunk moving too. And we're pressing up and diagonal. We've got three, two, Last one, let's do the other side right here. Press and press. Drive through that hand. Three, two, last one, same thing. Diagonal right there, boom, boom, boom. We've got three, two, last one right here. Big arm circles, Woo. swing those babies. And then let's rotate it the other way. Swing them the other way. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the end of the mat. We're gonna do some little bit of walkouts. Get some weight bearing onto those shoulders and those arms. And walk it back. Walk it out. Walk it back. Two more. Walk it out. Walk it back. Last time. Walk it out. Right here. Drop into quadruped. Hands and knees. You're gonna keep those elbows straight and we're gonna sink those shoulder blades in and out. Really moving those scaps. In and out. We've got three, two, last one. We're gonna go down under our forearms. We're gonna do a little bit of trunk rotation so we get that thoracic spine moving. Unlock that baby. Two more each side. One more each side. Come back up onto your hands and knees and we're going to go up and out, up and out. Nice work. One more on each side. And then we're going to go right here into plank, push into downward dog, back into plank, push into downward dog, two more, the plank, downward dog, last one, plank, Downward dog, walk that baby all the way up. Roll those wrists, roll them the other way. Pull that wrist down and stretch it out. Pull it down, other side. Pull that out and then pull that down. Okay, so what we're gonna start with is we're gonna start with our yoga block today. We're gonna do an elevated push-up. 
So what I'm going to do is just on my right side is going to be elevated. Okay, so what it does is it, I want you to try to go down to your chest um, and so that you have a little bit extra motion on that side. Okay, so it's going to look a little bit different. Okay, the weight is going to be a little bit shifted. We're going to do two rounds on the right and two rounds on the left. You can do this on your toes or you can do this on your uh, knees. Okay, modify and do the best you can. Let's get in position. That block is on your right side. Here we go. We've got three, two, one. We're coming down and up. As far down as you can go, try to get that chest down and back up. Again, you can do this on your toes. You can do this on your knees. Okay, you notice I'm not being fast today. I'm slow and controlled, just like we do when we do weights. So we're just using our body weight, but man, it's gonna be hard and challenging, I know it. Halfway there, we're doing 45 seconds for two rounds. Yes, a minute and a half on each activity today. Ho, 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 talk about burnout, right? That's what I'm saying, slow and controlled. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. When you're doing that push-up, you're thinking about your chest, your torso, your thighs, all coming down at the same time, all coming up. Don't jet that head out. No one wins the race. They all come down at the same time and they all come up at the same time. Here we go, round two in three, two, one, and down, and up. And yes, we're gonna go do this on the left side after this. Don't jet that head out. We wanna try to win the race so many times with that head. We jet that baby out. Keep that nice and even in that neutral position. Stay steady and focused. 20 more seconds. You got this. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice work. We are doing round where we do the left side now, okay? So if you want to open up that chest, stretch that baby out. Oh, yes. It's gonna get work today. I know it. I know this is challenging. It's so good for us to do something different and challenge it in a different way. Body weight is awesome. Dumbbells are awesome. It's great to do the entire mix, okay? It's important for our body. Woo! Okay, we got this left side. Let's get in position. Let's rock this. In three, two, one. Down and up. Okay, the idea is that you're gonna inhale as you come down, exhale as you come up. Low and controlled and challenging. <laughs> 20 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, I love that word. We've got one more set like this. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then we'll grab the bench after for the next activity. Okay, round two. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Down and up. Take your time. Reset at the top. Okay, and then give me a nice good push-up. That's okay. I'm not looking for massive reps. I'm not looking for nice and controlled good form. Stay focused. You're over halfway. You can do this. Stay focused. We're going to go do some dips next. Okay, so get some tricep work in there. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we'll come back to the yoga block later but we're going to grab that bench or chair couch whatever you got okay what we're going to do is we're going to put them right out here and we're going to come down and up now the farther your feet are out the harder it is the closer they are the easier it is 
If you need to, you can even go down to the ground on this and not be elevated, that's okay. Or you're just using the yoga block, that's okay. I want you to do the best you can, okay? That's all I'm looking for. Challenge yourself. That looks different for all of us, okay? It's the best version of you is what I'm looking for. Let's get in position. Here we go in three, two, one. Down and up. You want that butt near the edge of your elevated surface. You're coming straight down, coming up, and again, move your feet where you need to. Okay, change that body weight. Okay, it's easy for us to see visually how to change our dumbbells, right? We move from 20 to 15 or 15 to 10, but it's harder to figure out how do I adjust my body weight, right, to make it less. And that's my job to help you make sure you know you drive those feet in, you make it a little bit less on that body weight. Here we go. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice work. We got one more set like that. Burning out those triceps today. Burning out that chest for sure. Here we go. We've got three, two, one, down and up. Again, we're doing nice, slow and controlled. Set yourself up for success. Twenty more seconds. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, shake out those arms. We are going to do now an incline push-up. So what does that mean? That means we're going to use this elevated surface this way. Okay, and we're going to do a nice good push-up. So we're going to come from here, coming down to that chest and up. Now, how do you make this easier? You can do this elevated on the wall. Okay, that can make it easier. If you need to be like your arms are dead, try that or try a few of this way. Moving on up. Okay, that's how we adjust that okay or you can even end up going onto your knees right here down and up that's okay too okay again best version of yourself that's what i'm asking for are you ready here we go three two one here we go down and up all i ask for is that your elevated surface be nice and steady i don't want it sliding on the floor right that's i want to make sure you're staying nice and safe Okay, again, we inhale as we come down, exhale as we come up. Fifteen more seconds on this set. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest those arms out I know definitely an arm killer today you're working hard proud of you okay we got our second set are you ready here we go three two one down and up okay still keeping that torso those thighs that chest all moving at the same time that does not change no matter if you're at the wall at the bench on the ground okay that form Stay steady on your knees, on your toes. It doesn't matter. That solid form is what you're looking for. No worming. Okay, 20 seconds left. And we're gonna go back to that yoga block next. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, move that to the side, don't worry. We'll use it in a little bit. Don't get too scared. I know you love coming back to that. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna lay, um, lay on our left side. We're gonna take that block and we're gonna do a tricep push-up. So that block is, I'm gonna take my left hand, kind of wrap it around myself. I'm gonna take that right side, put it on the block, come up and lift into a push-up and back down. A nice one-sided tricep push-up. Okay, so you're gonna do the best you can. You're gonna come up, 
and down. Okay, so it's a little bit more elevated, so it's asking a little bit different than when we do it just on the ground. Let's try this, here we go. Three, two, one, up and down. And since you're asking, and I know you were wondering, yes, we're doing two rounds on this side, and I know how excited you are about that. <laughs> okay, so that left hand is just being wrapped around your, your, your torso, out of the way. You're using that right side to push yourself up and back down. If you need to, put your left hand down and help just a little bit. Okay, that's how you lessen that body weight. Just as long as you're pushing your body and working really hard on that right side, okay? Oh man, here we go. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Again, that left side can kind of help a little bit. Okay, unwrap it and let it help and assist. Guide it as you need to. Second round on that right side in three, two, one. Up we go and down. Nice big push off. Hold it up and back down. Oh my goodness. Yep, a burn for sure. Body weight does not mean easy, okay? So many times you think, oh, I'm not doing dumbbells, that means it's easier. Nope, it's not. <laughs> My dad always says, that's so deceiving. <laughs> okay, here we go. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, yes. We're gonna do the other side. Grab some water before you shift over. Shake out that arm. the left side. Next. Okay, so again, you're gonna wrap that. Now your right hand, you're laying on your right side and you're taking that left hand and pushing up. Okay, so get yourself ready and into position. Okay, we got this. In three, two, one, up and down, here we go. Okay, this is the last activity we're doing with the yoga block, okay? You can chuck that after this. <laughs> we're finishing all the rest on that elevated surface, the bench, the chair, the couch, whatever you have. You've got 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. One more set. And then get rid of the block. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> We've got three, two, one, up we go, and down. I know these are hard. I know these are challenging. Use your other hand, use your right hand to help if you need to, but keep pushing your body. I know it's challenging. That's how we get better. <laughs> the things that are the hardest really are the ones that make us stronger. We don't always love it that way, but it's just kind of how that works, okay? So keep pushing through it. You got 15 more seconds. You're almost there. Five. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, get rid of the yoga block. We're going back to the bench, chair, couch, whatever you have. Okay, and this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna do elevated walks. So we're gonna come up to the top. We're gonna walk it down. We're gonna walk it up. So kind of like what we do when we do tall planks to low planks, except we've got an elevated surface with that, okay? Now, you can go down. If you need to lessen that up, you drop to your knees. That's how we change that up, okay? So you can be down on your knees and come up. Now, don't start there. Try to start on your toes. Try to make this challenging for yourself. Even if you only get one or two sets, that's one or two sets farther along, okay? So let's get in position. Here we go. Three, 
two, one, we're coming down, and then we're coming back up, coming down, and then coming back up. Alternating, which side comes up, working that shoulder, working that core as an added bonus, which we love when we get to multitask, right? Keeping that core nice and stable. Try to keep those hips facing the ground. Don't have them rocking too much. You've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. One more set. Here we go. We've got three, two, one. Down we go and up. Alternating sides, coming down, then coming all the way up, coming back down. Almost there. Hang in there, 10 more seconds. Four, three, Two, one, and rest. Oh, shake out those arms. Okay, so what we're gonna do is a posterior delt. We're gonna get the back side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be in that nice, good, long position. And we're gonna have our palm facing our body. So all that weight's gonna be on that left side. And we're gonna take that right side with our palm facing us and we're gonna lift out to the side and squeeze that shoulder blade, okay? Work in the back and work in that posterior delt. Now, as that gets challenging, you can go to your knees and do it. But I want you to try to challenge that left shoulder as you're working the right shoulder, okay? Multitasking. So let's try this. Here we go. Three, two, one. So it's right here. Nice, good, tall position. I'm taking that arm and squeezing that shoulder blade and back down. Nice, good squeeze. Left side is working on stability. Right side's working on that back and posterior delt. Come on, squeeze that shoulder blade, that palm's facing you. Thumb is down, pinky is up. 20 more seconds, and yes, you guessed it. We're doing two sets on this side. Woo -hoo -hoo. But that's all we got. We got two on each side, and then we've got the heroic closer. So that's all we got. Stay focused. We've got five, four, three, two, one and rest. Now, my left side, just as tired as my right side. Both sides are working. Shake those arms out. We've got round two on that right side. Here we go. Three, two, one, right here. Boom. If you need to, come up or go down onto those toes. If you can, try to stay in more of that push-up position, strengthening that left side. Okay, and your right side should get any tired. Squeezing that shoulder blade, lifting out to the side. Long lever arm, okay? We never put necessarily a lot of weight on this anyway. That gravity is a lot. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, shake that out. I'm gonna face this way. We've got the left side now, so I'm gonna have my right side down and I'm gonna come out, okay? So again, the closer you are, the easier it is, okay? But you wanna try to challenge that right side. Whew. Shake out those arms, stretch out that shoulder. Whew. Oh yeah. Okay, so we've got that left side next. Okay, right side's gonna stabilize, left side is moving. Here we go, we got three, two, one. Lift up and squeeze. Again, your hips are facing the mat. Trying to stay in that nice controlled position. 
working on stabilizing that left side, right side shoulder, and then we're working that right side, I mean that left side lift. <laughs> right, left, they're both working, that's what my point is. Okay, the pinky goes up towards that ceiling, palm is facing your body, and lift, halfway there. You got this, stay focused, we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, one more set. Catch that breath. You're doing awesome, okay? All we have is a heroic closer after this, okay? Yes, here we go, in three, two, one. Squeeze that shoulder blade and drive it. I don't know about you, but my upper body is starting to feel pretty noodly. <laughs> That body weight gets to you after a while. All that stabilization. Try to keep that nice, good, active shoulder on that, left, on that right side, nice and strong. And that body nice and steady. And you're squeezing that shoulder blade on that left side. Drive it. Have, come on, 15 more seconds. Nice and controlled. We've got five. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Heroic closer. That means we are almost done. Okay, so what we're gonna do with that? We're gonna put our feet up onto the elevated surface. And we are going to do a walk in and a walk out. Challenge is if you can try to do a push-up and walk it out and do a push-up. You do not have to. It may be challenging enough just to walk in and out. And if you need to, go down and do it just non-elevated. That's okay if you walk out that way. This is challenging, I know. Let's try this. To the best of your ability, are you ready? In three, two, one. So you're walking it all the way in. And if you can, you're gonna try a push up there. You're gonna walk it out. And you're gonna try a push up there. I know, our hands are starting to be noodly. I should say, our, not our hands, but our upper body, our arms. Again, you can take your feet off the elevated surface if you need to. You can do just the walks. You don't have to do the push-ups. I'm showing you all different levels. You're doing awesome. Hang in there. Way to close it out, right? This is all we've got. And you're over halfway. Stay focused. We're starting to see that finish line. Oh yeah. 30 seconds left. Oh my word. Yes. Almost there. Come on, 15 seconds. 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, go right here into child's pose. Let's really extend those shoulders. Oh, my word. Come back up onto your quadruped. Roll over and let's stretch out those wrists. Okay, pushing right over the side. Come back, rotate your palms back and sit back and stretch out your wrists the other way. One more time, palms facing, fingers facing out, roll back on top, stretch out that wrist, and then flip it back and sit back. Oh, that feels so good. Come on up. Let's take those arm, let's pull it over and let's get that shoulder. Worked a lot of shoulder on that weight bearing. Let's pull it up and get that tricep 
triceps worked on those <laughs> dips and those tricep push-ups. Oh my word. Nice job working today. That was hard, that's challenging. A lot of different moves. You can really see your progress as you start to say, hey, I couldn't even do a push-up, now I can do push-ups, now I can do different kinds of push-ups. Okay, take those arms behind you, and then you're gonna lift that up. If you don't have that mobility, grab a towel, and on either side, lift on up. Open up that chest. Man, did we work that chest today, right? Open it up. Take those hands now and make a nice good C position. Press those shoulder blades out. Dip down, really push out. Oh, yes. And then lift those arms up as they're still locked. You're gonna pull to the side, give me a little bit of attraction on that shoulder. We're gonna pull to the other side, give me a little bit of attraction on that side. We're gonna extend back for three, two, one, high five for rocking that way to rock a different kind of challenge. I'm so proud of you. Make sure you're grabbing that water, flushing that system, and you're grabbing a great protein to rebuild all that muscle we just tore down. So you are really ready for recovery and for the next day. And have a great day. Welcome to the Heroic You Series 2.0. I am so glad you're here. If you're heroic enough to join me, this series will be 10 weeks long where we do five days a week of workouts together. This is designed to help us move better, feel better, and look better so that we can be strong, lean, fit, and healthy. So make sure you stay connected by hitting the notification bell and subscribing to the channel so you never miss what's coming up next. You can also grab in the link below the calendar so you know what each week has set up for you so you can be prepared. If you want to stay connected, let's become friends. Join me on social media so you can hit find helpful tips and be in the know of what's happening next. If you're a woman over 40 and you're struggling like many of us do with our bodies not quite behaving the same way that we used to have it behave, then I can help you with that. I do personal coaching to help women lose weight, feel better in their own skin by dialing in nutrition, fitness, and healthy habits with sleep and stress management. So if you're someone like me who just says, I need a little extra help and encouragement, join me in my personal coaching program with a link below and let's get connected. Let's help all of us stay fit and healthy. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and connect with me. Have a great day.